Hi everyone. About seven years ago, I made a huge library of architectural splines for Cinema 4D and put them in a library. And this library was a commercial product for a while, but as of today, it will be available for free. You will find a download link in the description, and in the download you will find the Cinema 4D library file and two PDF documents. One is a documentation and the other one is an image catalog. This is the first page of the documentation and in the documentation you will find some information about the minimum requirements. All you need to know really is that you cannot use this library in versions older than release 12. We've just talked about the contents of the download and as far as the installation of the library goes, all you need to do is copy the library to your Cinema 4D library folder. Personally, I prefer to add my libraries as favorites and I've added a chapter that describes how you can add libraries as favorites to your content browser in Cinema 4D. Then there's some um, more information on the general structure of the library and the contents of the library and there's some uh, general information, for example, I made all of the profiles based on real-world references from catalogs, images, photos I found on the internet. And the last chapter is about the folder's profiles exterior and profiles interior. We're not going to have a more detailed look at this documentation because I'll give you a short version in this video. And if you need some more in-depth information, you can refer to the documentation if you want to. You probably won't need to though. This is the first page of the image catalog that's included in the download and originally this image catalog was just so people could have a look at everything that's in the library before making a decision whether or not they wanted to purchase the library. And this first page lists all of the types of profiles that you can find in the library. On the second page of the image catalog, you can see the contents. The library contains 1840 splines and over here you can see how many profiles of each types there are in the library. All of the other pages just show renders of each of the profiles in the library and it's uh, 63 pages. If I scroll down all the way to the end, almost to the end, you can see the patterns. Some of these are tileable and the tileable ones are made of three different splines. One is the left end, one is the center that you can tile and one is the right end. So there's a couple of those in there and then there's also these patterns here. So that is the image catalog. Now let's go to Cinema 4D and have a look at the library. Once you've installed the library, you can access it in the content browser. And I've put this in the presets folder for this video. The library is called Arch Profile Collection and it has five main folders. Handrails, Patterns, Profiles Exterior, Profiles Interior and Wall Rails. There are 1800 different profiles in this library, but you will find more than 3300 objects in the library and that's because of the folders profiles exterior and profiles interior. Both of these folders contain the same profiles, but there's a slight difference between them. We're going to talk about that in a second. If you open one of the folders, you can see the list of profiles that's in that folder and each of the profiles has a preview image so you can see what it actually looks like. Usually when you draw a spline in Cinema 4D, you will do that in the front view and you will end up with something like this. You can then add this profile as a child of a sweep object. And I've set up a simple scene here where I've already prepared the sweep and a basic room. And you can sweep that profile along a path spline. And as you can see, this profile is swept along the outside of the room, but in many cases, you'll probably want this profile to be swept along the path spline on the inside of the room. And in order to make that happen, you would have to enable the axis and then rotate it 180 degrees. So in order to make your lives a little bit easier, I've prepared two versions of many of the profiles in the library. And I've put those profiles in the two folders, Profiles Exterior and Profiles Interior. And the folder Profiles Exterior contains the profiles with a default orientation that would be swept along the outside of the room. And the Profiles Interior folder contains 
the same profiles, but I've already changed the orientation of the object axis. So it will automatically be swept along the inside of the room. And that means you can quickly test a number of different shapes. without having to change the orientation of the object axis all the time. All you need to do is add the profile from the library and put it as a child of the sweep object. I hope you will enjoy this library. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care and I'll see you again soon.